Another officer involved shooting taking place in Sumter today. Residents there not happy with the violence. News 19's Peyton Lewis has more on what happened and what residents say needs to change moving forward. Sumter residents and law enforcement say their community just couldn't catch a break over the weekend. About eight hours of sleep in three days. Starting on Friday at Lakewood High School, Sumter deputies were investigating the use of THC in vape pens and edibles that were allegedly being distributed at the school. Then late Friday evening into Saturday morning, deputies were searching for a missing three-year-old girl in the Poinsett Park area. The toddler was found and returned safely to her family. But by Sunday, Sumter deputies responded to a domestic disturbance on Keynes Mill Road where they found a house on fire. When the deputy tried to put the fire out, investigators say a man opened fire, striking the deputy. The officer returned fire, killing the man. Then this afternoon, it happened again. Another fatal incident involving a Sumter deputy following a domestic disturbance. I wish I had words for, for this right now. Um, we haven't had back-to-back -back calls of this nature this often in, in my history in this department. Uh, it's, it's a rough time right now for law enforcement and um, we, we just don't have an answer as to why we've had so many calls like this. Denise Park says she's lived in Sumter for more than 20 years and has never seen this much happen all at once. I think I live in a pretty safe area. I'm not saying stuff hasn't happened like maybe somebody got robbed or something but other than that, that's probably about the most serious thing I've heard about. Tyreek Gadson has lived in Sumter for about the same amount of time and says he doesn't want to see any more eventful weekends like this one. It, it depends on the people. You know, everybody got to come together. If not, then it ain't, ain't going to be better. Reporting in Sumter, Peyton Lewis, News 19, WLTX. On well, tonight's sled is investigating both of the deadly shootings. We're not sure when they'll be able to release a report.